वेलकम टू द चैनल नॉवल बेल लास्ट सेशन में जिसमें हम प्रिपेयर कर रहे थे फॉर द अपकमिंग सैनिक स्कूल एंट्रेंस एग्जाम 2023 ट्वेंटी थ्री वी स्टार्टेड ऑफ विद अ वेरी न्यू टॉपिक ऑफ जी के दैट वेंट बाय द नेम माइक्रोबियल डिजीज तो हमने स्टार्ट किया था टू स्टडी अबाउट माइक्रोबियल डिजीज इन दैट सेशन वी डिस्कस्ड वॉट आर माइक्रोब्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी डिस्कस वॉट डज माइक्रोबियल स्टैंड फॉर देन वी डिस्कस वॉट आर माइक्रोब्स और माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स why microorganisms are there and then we discuss the device that we used to observe microorganisms aaj ke session mein hum iske aage ka part cover up karenge and we are going to continue with our topic microbial disease so everyone take out your pens and notebooks and put up the heading microbial diseases class 2 okay everyone so in the last class humne discuss kiya microorganisms let us quickly revise that so we discussed about microorganisms first of all we discussed that in the word microbial diseases microbial stands for microorganisms okay microbial word kahan se aaya hai microbial word has arrived from microorganisms okay microorganisms ko hum kya kehte hain the another name for microorganisms is microbes this we discussed the next we discussed in the class that what are microorganisms so there we got to know that very small tiny or minute organisms that are not visible through our naked eyes small tiny minute organisms that are not visible to our naked eyes we call them microorganisms this we discuss so we got to know that very small tiny and minute organisms jinko hum apne life daily i normalize without using any specific device nahi observe kar pate we call all such organisms as micro organisms then we discussed that a device that we need to observe micro organisms we call that device as micro scope yahan tak humne study kiya tha and in a little more detail so now today we are going to start ahead with the next topic and the topic is called as good micro organisms and bad microorganisms okay so we have got good microbes and we have got bad microbes so we will discuss about both kind of microbes we will discuss what are good microbes we will discuss what are bad microbes why good microbes are important why we have to study about bad microbes okay so let's get started with the good microbes so what are good microbes everyone just think about it good hum kisko kehte hain what do we call good if i say that something is really good what do i mean if something is good like a microbe is good that by that i mean that microbe is helpful to me okay it's good because that microbe is helpful to me okay so what are good microbes all such microbes which are helpful to us okay microbes which are helpful to us are called as good microbes now you might all be wondering that how can a microbe be good to us okay or they are helpful to us so let's have a look at that as well microbes which are helpful for us are called as good microbes okay so now how microbes are helpful to us well to tell you all we are everywhere surrounded by the microbes okay so microbes are essentially very important good kaise honge let us have a few examples for example every one of you have you ever eaten curd dahi sabhi ne dekha hai aur khaya bhi hoga i guess okay so dahi kaise banta hai we know we make dahi or curd from milk but how do we make dahi or curd from milk agar aap ghar mein bahut carefully observe karoge aur if you'll ask your parents or grain parents they let you know that in order to make dahi or curd at home what you have to do ki aapko milk mein 
वन स्पून वन टेबल स्पून ऑफ कर्ड और वन टेबल स्पून ऑफ दही एड करना पड़ता है एंड आफ्टर ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स जो मिल्क था हमारा दैट मिल्क गेट्स कन्वर्टेड इन टू कर्ड सो हाउ डज दैट हैपन वाई हाउ डज द मिल्क गॉट कन्वर्टेड इन टू कर्ड ये हमें फाइंड आउट करना है सो फॉर दैट एक्चुअली अ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम कॉल लेक्ट्रोबैसिलस प्ले अ वेरी असेंशियल रोल ओके सो लेट एस है लोक फॉर्मेशन ऑफ मिल्क फ्रॉम कर्ड requires what does it requires it requires the presence of a bacteria called lactobacillus okay it requires the presence of a bacteria called lactobacillus now what is lacto Bacillus. Lactobacillus is basically the name of a bacteria. Like we all of us have got different different names. Similarly, bacteria have also name. So, Lactobacillus is a specific kind of bacteria. Out there. Now, some of you might be wondering, कि कहाँ से ये new term आ गया? That's called bacteria. So, bacteria actually, everyone, is a kind of microorganism. This is also we are going to study in the coming classes. Bacteria is a Microorganisms. They are primarily four types of microorganisms: bacteria, fungi, protozoa, and viruses. Viruses के बारे में हमने सुना है. Bacteria is another kind of microorganism. So ये जो bacteria होता है, Lactobacillus, it is present in the curd. And when from curd we put this bacteria into the milk, so जो हमारा milk होता है, it also gets converted into the curd. So formation of milk from curd requires the presence of bacteria lactobacillus now this is a very important statement why this is important because this statement as it is was asked in senex school entrance exam aisse 2022 is year jo 9th of january ko aapka exam conduct hua tha on that very exam the gk question was this only the formation of milk from curd requires the presence of which microorganism the answer was the name of bacteria lactobacillus इसको बहुत अच्छे से लिख लीजिए बिकॉज वन क्वेश्चन हैज बीन आस्ट फ्रॉम हियर ओनली ओके सो इट कैन गेट आस्ट इन द नेक्स्ट ईयर ऑल्सो सो लेट्स गेट प्रिपेयर फॉर्मेशन ऑफ मिल्क फ्रॉम कर्ड रिक्वायर्स द प्रेजेंस ऑफ बैक्टीरिया लेक्टोबैसेलिस अनदर सच एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ गुड बैक्टीरिया इज और अ गुड माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म इज ईस्ट ओके यू कैन राइट डाउन द एग्जाम्पल ईस्ट वॉट इज ईस्ट ईस्ट इज बेसिकली अ फंजाई ओके Yeast is a fungi, so I can write it is a fungi. Now, how many of you have eaten cakes and breads? I think a lot of you people have. And kisi kisi ka to favorite food hoga cake and bread. So when we eat cake or when we eat bread, so cake mein jo spongy part hota hai, the bread is there. You must have observed that it is very fluffy. And why it is fluffy? It has a sponge-like appearance. Okay, and why it is like that? Due to the presence of this microorganism called yeast, yeast एक fungi है जो कि market में हमको yeast powder के नाम से मिलता है. When we are preparing cakes, when we are preparing bread, so in the batter we add it yeast powder. And due to the presence of yeast, the cakes and breads होते हैं हमारे, they are very fluffy. Okay, they are very fluffy and spongy. So it is used in preparation of Cakes and breads. So you can write this down. Last year the question was for lactobacillus. This year the question can be for yeast. So we need to get prepared for both of them. Both the microorganisms are very important. Lactobacillus and yeast. So ये आप लोग note down कर लीजिए. Apart from this, whatever I am writing, ये notes मैं आपको provide करूँगी. Where in the description box of that video a link is there. आप उसको यहाँ से download कर सकते हो. Or from the Telegram channel of Novel Well as well. You can get these notes, okay, and prepare yourself for the upcoming exam. So, we have good microorganisms. We have good microorganisms which are essentially helpful to us. We call them good microorganisms. Example was Lactobacillus, curd formation. Yeast, a fungi for bread and cake formation. The second kind of microbes which we have to study, they are called as bad microorganisms. What do we call them? We call them Bad microbes. 
so we have discussed the good part now we are on the bad part so what can be the uh, meaning of bad here good or helpful the bad would be just opposite microorganisms which are dangerous and are harmful for us by us we means humans plants and animals we call all such microorganisms as bad microorganisms so we can write down microorganisms which are harmful to us okay are called as bad microorganisms what do we call them we call them bad microbes why we call them bad because they are harmful to us harmful to plants animals and us humans now what can be the examples of bad microorganisms for good we study for bad microorganism also let us study the example so generally jo bad microorganisms hote hain they are harmful to us why we mean saying that they are harmful to us how are they harmful they actually cause disease okay they generally cause a large number of large variety of diseases in the human beings okay and all these microorganisms are considered as bad microorganisms some of the bad microorganisms spoil our food they are also bad so for example microorganisms that causes diseases such as we can take the example of microbial disease microorganism that causes diseases such as malaria dengue you have got chicken pox pneumonia or any other disease okay microorganism that causes diseases such as malaria dengue chicken pox covid 19 then your pneumonia tuberculosis food poisoning a lot of diseases are caused by microorganisms all such microorganisms they are the example of bad microorganisms but why because they are causing a disease in the humans or in plants or animals and they are becoming harmful to us secondly the microorganisms that spoil our food okay microorganisms that spoil our food they are also bad micro organism we also call them as bad micro organism so bad micro organisms ke bare mein we have to study in a lot of detail because when we say microbial disease so microbial disease ka kya meaning hoga the disease that are caused by the micro organisms and these are the bad micro organisms so we have to study a lot of diseases bacterial disease fungal disease viral disease and all of them are caused by bad micro organisms so mainly aaj class mein humne padha what are good micro organisms what are their examples then we discussed about what are bad micro organisms what are the examples of the bad micro organisms and in the coming class we are going to discuss about bad micro organisms in a little more detail so with this everyone we will sum up our sessions like every other sessions kahi pe bhi doubt hai any difficulty you are having put down your doubts in the comment section i'll be gladly answering them iske sath hi ye jo class hai iski notes whatever you are seeing on the screen you can get it from the link i have provided in the description from there you can access those and in the next session of this chapter we will discuss about the types of microorganisms and then about the bacterial and microbial diseases so with this everyone we sum up our today's session agar aapko video useful laga hoga so you can like the video you can subscribe the channel for more such videos and you can share it among your friends as well bye bye